Hello, Post University Esports fans. Good evening. Happy to be here again. My name is Warren Juggle God Hammond, bringing you the action uh, here with Valorant. We are in ECAC week number four, filling in again tonight. We'll be back on Thursday as well for the uh, regular Valorant caster. Uh, but yeah, it's been, uh, been a lot of fun getting to follow the team, getting to cast for them. Uh, it had a fantastic win on Thursday night, 2 0 for the Eagles. So looking to see if they can capitalize on that success. Uh, as uh, they take on Muskingum tonight. So we're going to see uh, Bind, let's see here, Bind, Lotus, and Split, I believe, was the, uh, uh, let me double check that real quick. Yeah, Bind, Lotus, and Split going to be the maps that we're going to see tonight. We're already into the pick bands, uh, so we're going to transition over to that. But something else exciting I want to mention, you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner is a Mojo Kill Counter. He is going for the number three lifetime spot for kills for post university he's gonna be overtaking i believe a uh, solo god i'll have to double check that name um but yeah 15 uh 15 kills tonight that's gonna do it that's gonna push him over the edge give him that number three spot of all time for post university so we're on bind and this is a map that uh post university just absolutely rocked on last week they destroyed um their attacking side they went seven and oh um, after having split the defense, uh, their defense side 6-6. Six and six. Uh, So they're going to be starting out on attack this time. So I'm excited. I'm ready for them to just, you know, come out uh, swinging for the fences. Uh, Chris was absolutely phenomenal on the Cypher. So I'm going to be looking at him again uh, to kind of really pop off here tonight. Um, nothing too surprising in terms of who we're seeing run, except, I think, uh, for the fact that we don't, uh, Post University not running any duelists, and Raze is always just kind of like a, it has become almost like a, well, af actually for, for a very long time been practically a must pick um, on Bind, but Post University going to be able to get it done without it. Dissident is a phenomenal KO. Uh, Dissident has just been um, also another one of the pop-off players from last week, so I'm excited to see that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a peek. How about our eagles look like they're going to start out with? So right now just uh, kind of setting up mid, it looks like. Of course, Bind is uh, the map with the teleporters. Anybody who's played Valorant for, for uh, you know, at least a few minutes knows uh, that. So one of the big things that I think Post University did really well last week on Bind is they just... They just bamboozled their opponents, right? They, uh, I think they had really good map control, map awareness, and they would also just bounce back and forth between the sites when they needed to. So, it's going to be a flash going out. EK peaks a little bit. Now going to be aware that the push is coming in on A, but it looks like a couple of players still kind of holding out on B, just in case there's going to be a flank or rotation. Okay, we do hear the TP. And they're getting ready to drop some smokes. We're probably going to see a push in immediately after this. Maya is going to be on distant. Yeah, distant's going to go in first. Pushes through that smoke. But he's going to have an, an enemy behind him. He's going to be picked off almost immediately. Looking to get the spike planted right now. It's going to be two players down already for Post University. That's going to be a third. Last and unfortunately, it looks like Post University going to have to go back. Try again this time around. A little bit of a rough start. Unfortunately, it's a flawless round as well. So not a whole lot picked up in terms of uh, you know credits at all for Post University. So, you know, of course... That being the case, definitely going to see a buy up here for Musk and Gum. And that's going to be pretty significant as well. They're going to be able to get full shields here. So I think the big thing that Post wants to do in this case is just try to get a couple of kills, try and get a couple of frags, get a little bit of money on the board. That way, that full buy that hopefully they should have next round is going to be big. Blind comes in again, so at least aware that somebody Deploying drone. is over here for Post. A little bit of fire exchanged. Showers. That's going to be a nice tag right there. Smokes have been dropped. Mojo trying to take that high ground, but doesn't take the corner to his left. Daily picks him off. So 
that distance. Forced to back up. Takes a little bit of damage. That's going to be a nice shot there onto EK. And it looks like, yeah, going to try and pick up that gun. Ooh, but there's actually going to be a big push out here. Oh, no, that's the flash. Not able to swing back around in time. This it with 10 HP and the spike. Considering their options right now, this might be a good opportunity to rotate. Yeah, and it looks like that's maybe Shutting even going to be the case. Yeah, they're going to drop that knife. It's down to a 2v4 at the moment. So again, best case scenario, I think Post gets left. a couple more picks. They are going to get the spike down, so that'll be a little bit of money as well. And we can see Cypher now is doubling back as the team seems to be aware that, yeah, maybe they're uh, not going to be where they think they are. Nice. Great job taking out that camera. So now they're going to be able to get that... Uh, spike down, but the dart is still in them. They're going to have to take that out before they can move it. Zaley already looking to drop in here. Grim having to back up a little bit. You can hear somebody behind him. Is it aware that someone's there on the point, but still able to pick them both off? Post University does get a kill, of course, expected to kind of lose that round. So now the buy is going to come in here, and that's going to be the big important thing. Uh, for post university, they need to make sure that they win this round. Otherwise, if this goes, if this one doesn't go their way, it's going to be that much harder to kind of get back into the game, get back into the action. Right? One of the big yeah. things in Valorant is you need to, yeah. you need to win the rounds that you're supposed to win here. So, let's take a look at the loadout. Nothing too surprising here. Vandals and Phantoms, all the way around. Uh, Mojo, unfortunately, going to have to be um, happy with uh, half shields, but as long as they kind of hang back and, you know, just wait for Distant to push in, push in really, they should be okay. We got a little bit of a flank over here. This might be to kind of pull some attention as it has been like a... Oh, that's going to be a big flank. That's going to be a trade here. Can they get another one? No, it's going to be Psycho getting a couple. But the rest of the squad is over here on B site. Looking to push in. Now Cypher's going to be aware that Cypher Cage is up as well, so they don't want to ping that. Smoke's down. Smoke's coming in. If they can take out Joker, that's going to be huge. But no, instead it's going to be Joker getting the pick. Not quite quick enough to find them. Tripwire is down. Last player standing. Unfortunately, Post University going to be sent back to spawn. That's going to be tough to recover from here because, again, that was going to be their big buy right there. They had the guns, um, and unfortunately now three of them are going to be the, in the hands of musking them. This then picked up a couple kills. So, yeah, definitely a safe round here for Post University. Right here. Viper's got the ball up, uh, kind of suggesting another A push here, but we're really getting uh, just everybody kind of defaulting at this point for a post-university. Kind of get some information, see what they want to do. Aldrin's going to come out here momentarily. Take flight. He's going to find that Yoru. They do get the dart onto him, so it's going to force him to back up a little bit, and that's going to be some nice space here for post-university. But on the other side of the field, that's going to be Chris Ram Ramirez down. Seiko pushes out again. L tags one. Last so it's down to the controllers. Standing. Quick headshot takes them out. <coughs> Bittner looking for another one. Here's the TP. Though somebody's likely coming in behind him. That's going to be the sky. They get the jump on him. Take him out. That's going to be four rounds here for Musking Gum. So now after that save round... Post again is going to be able to buy up here. Again, uh, Mojo looks like they're going to be forced to uh, work with these half shields once again. But a couple of ultimates on the board now, which is going to be really big dissident. Um, that could really swing things here. Post University desperately needs to get a round win right here, right now. And I think it needs to be on the back of this ultimate from KO. So they're going to be the main player that I'm going to be watching uh, this fight. It's like a pretty quick push here. Yeah, in fact, I already got some uh, contact made. Nobody detected with that knife, so everybody's got to follow back a little bit. Here comes the ultimate. They're just going to push straight through and gun down Joker. That's going to be a trade here. 
Plus the University looking a lot better. Gonna try and clear this hallway back here. That's gonna be Psycho that they're gonna run up against. Who's been doing really, really well for Musky Gum. Huge headshot, one tapped, Spike taking landed. down the dissonance. Psycho now throwing out the decoy, seeing if he can fake somebody out here. Throws a flash as well. Bittner trying to see if they can take him out. Not gonna be able to. Psycho, Psycho's, Psycho's aim is top tier, top notch right now and it is just causing problem after problem here uh tonight for the post university eagles yeah we can see they're top ragging by a lot as it were more than double anybody else's kills in the lobby right now so post university i think is probably aware of this at this point yeah we're, we're already getting a um we're getting a a timeout which i think is is great uh here because they need to find a way to shut down this yoru y yoru is an agent that you know Rarely, I think, finds themselves in the meta with Valorant. However, kind of one of those niche uh, niche agents to where if you know how to play them, can be absolutely devastating. The kit that Yoru has is very unique and very difficult to play around, but very powerful once you know how to. And that is definitely what Post University is running up against right now, is a very experienced, very powerful Yoru who knows exactly how to play this agent. So... To me, that's the big thing that needs to happen right now, is take down this Yoro. Seiko, Seiko is running the lobby at this point. And unfortunately, yeah, uh, Dissidence Ult, gone now. That needed to be, that was kind of like one of, I think, their big win conditions. But now, L's going to have theirs coming up here soon. That's another kind of big round winning, uh, potential round winning ultimate that you can use. Uh, the Viper's Pit. So if they can find a way onto point or use the Viper's Pit to get to point, right? Go through showers on A, right? And see if you can use that Viper's Pit kind of like right out the door from it. Cover part of A site, get the spike down, and then just force the enemies to come to you, right? And play within that Viper's Pit. But no, instead, I like this kind of fake out that we're having, right? A little bit of action over here. Kind of trying to draw the attention. Yeah, Chris actually kind of waiting for that rotation. See if he can pick somebody off. And I like this. This looks like uh, Post University should be able to get site control here as long as they're able to get past this cipher. Musking Gump Cipher has their, uh, their camera up. Yeah, here come the smokes. Knife is going to go out. Cipher cage, cyber cage is up. But Post University needs to move, regardless, I think, of whether or not, you know, this cyber cage is up. See him go down. Chris Ramirez is down. Not able to get that. Beautiful. That's huge. Seiko is down. So now Post University finds the camera. They're able to get the tripwire out, too. Dog's coming out. Going to be taken care of as well. Oh, but look at this. Dissonance calling for the rotation here, I think. Post University. Nope. The, the rest of the squad decides they want to stay on B-site. Oh. Unfortunately, this does a quite get out of the way. I think finds a wall. Left. So now, 30 seconds. It's going to have to be... Yeah, we're going to get a huge, quick rotation coming out from Post University. But Musky Gum is just as fast. Uh, dying to know what the mojo kill countdown is. I'll tell you after this round. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll fill you in. Okay, 30 seconds left to go. Can they get the spike? Okay, spike is planted. That's going to be good. This was a save round, too. So, Post University, I think, has to be pretty happy about that. It looks like they kind of calmed down after, you know, losing five in a row. It's going to be six in a row now, but they can come back from this. Uh, so, yes, release the Kraken. Uh, Mojo is currently gunning for the number three all-time kills for Post University career kills for post university so that is the mojo kill countdown uh that we've got going and actually i should check in here none yet so i'm gonna be updating it um you know as as much as i can and as quickly as i can but that's a that's one of the big stories tonight one of the big things we're really excited about here this goes here Retrieved. Yeah, so I'm going to see this uh, Viper's Pit come out this time. That's going to be a huge flash. Catches three of Post University. Suppressive. A lot of utility coming out. One this suppress. looks to be a pretty big, pretty quick push out onto site. Clearing that corner. Excellent. Going to try and take U-Haul, it looks like, this time. Uh, so Post University kind of hoping to come from the back of the site. Grenade. I love this... Uh, 
Oh, that's going to be a big grenade. Unfortunately, Dissident unable to get out of the way of it. But what that does mean is that uh, it is a trade as um, we got to pick onto the raise as well. Yeah. L has uh, picked out that Seiko's behind somewhere. But the entire team knows where everybody is. Huge use of the... A decoy right there from Seiko. Again, just One masterful with their remaining. use of this Yoru. Now it's just going to be down to Mojo. Looking to see if he can keep that spike from getting diffused. As long as they could do that, they could take this round, but not going to be able to again. So, this has been a rough start here for Post University. Seven unanswered rounds from Muskingo. And a team ace as well. I love that. But Mojo! Mojo got a kill. So, we're going to have to uh, update this kill counter real quick. So, 14 left to go. And I believe... Yeah. Those of you see still holding on to several ults here. I'd like to see them uh, use these relatively soon. Again, that, um, you know, the lot... Especially the Viper Spit, I think, is pretty um, versatile, right? There's a lot of different ways you can use it. And I think the big thing for Post University is Post Plant right now. And, well, it's Post Plant and Entry, <laughs> like, honestly. Um, I, but I think if we can get to a Post Plant situation, we're going to have a much better opportunity of taking the round. Chris is going to go down, though. Offsite. El picks Seiko again, so this is huge. Again, this is a great opportunity, great time to move in. Holy so I think smoke. we're going to see, yeah, Britner's dropping the smokes. So this is going to be the time to move in. Dissident finds another one. Paint shells come in. They tag Bittner just a little bit. They try and take a high ground position. Looking for that boom bot when it comes out here. Not going to have a whole lot. Yep, here comes the. Spike down A. Uh, the Viper's Pit. No charges left. Last player standing. Okay, Zayla able to find him. Going to fake that plant. I'm going to let the smoke expire. This might bait the enemy team into thinking that L has gone to the other site. So if she just kind of like waste plays this long. Okay, yeah, now she's going for the rotation. Seconds left. So good job four. throwing out the smoke. That's going to at least get her the plan. And that's just going to be, can she keep this spike protected? Doesn't really have any utility left, so not going to be off. able to use any of the mollies. Doesn't necessarily need to kit the kills, just needs to one keep them one down. Last one to go. Zaley has just a little bit of health. Fakes the defuse once again. Al goes for the peak. At this point, I think Post University has just about got it. Zaley coming around this corner. Can she get the kill? She's not able to. Does Zaley have enough time? Just going to, just going to get it. So, Post University very close, but not quite. But that's a lot of progress. I really like how Post University played that. Uh, great use of the Viper's Pit. I loved the head games, the mind games there. Just a little bit quicker on the draw, a little bit better aim coming out from uh, Muskingum tonight. Check in. Yep, Mojo's got another one. Let's be sure to update that. It's definitely this another good down. opportunity, I think, for Post University to be able to get back into this one. A little bit of action in hookah. Smokes go down. That's a paint shell that I think threw, flew overhead as well. Cypher taken care of, but Seiko's going to trap three of them. Eventually taken down by Bittner. That's going to be a 3v2. Uh, here comes another um, ult from Bittner, I believe. That time, was that Bittner's? Ooh, look at that uh, lineup coming out from... Uh, planted. From Ray's. Don't think it quite landed where they needed it to. Okay. Now, Bittner does still have their ultimate, so this is huge, right? Uh, Bittner just needs to stay alive, and if they can do that, plus L, if she can um, drop a couple of standing. mollies, that could be huge. 
Oh my gosh, what a um what a spin right there. What a turn from EK. So, Post University still able to buy a decent amount of guns here. Looks like, yeah, they're they're gonna try and force this round, so it's not gonna be a full buy, um, but they're gonna be close to it. Oh no, decisions, things are being debated. Decisions are being made. I push once again. Okay, Dissident has their ultimate again, so I'd like to see this used as on the entry. Paint Shell drops behind him. EK, beautiful hit. Here comes the Showstopper. Okay, ultimate down as well, but going to be taken out almost immediately. 12 seconds. See if they can pick it back up or just burn through the rest of that health. Last player standing. It's going to be Cypher left. But not for long as the Joker finds him. That's going to be 10 rounds. Musking Gum has been a completely oh, unstoppable for us here. And I mean, Post University has done a fantastic job, at least uh, last week, right? That was a very competitive game. They were able to take it the whole match 2-0 to zero in bind. They were phenomenal on. Uh, so, and unfortunately, their attack, I think, was their strong point. So, this might just have to be a GG Go Next for Post University. But we're going to keep our fingers crossed. We're going to hope. And if nothing else, let's uh, hope we see some momentum Time build here jump. on the side of Post University. Okay, so now we got the full buy. So I got a cult ultimates ready to go. Seiko looking for a possible yeah. flash here. Yeah. Doesn't find anybody. Aldrone coming in. It's a little bit of information about that cyber cage is up now, so not a whole lot. They know that Cypher is over here, which they've pretty much known the entire match, so... Dissident making some noise on a post-university not committing to a route yet. Bit of contact made, wired up. See if they can find somebody in showers. Nice shot there, that's going to be a trade. Sky for KO, and uh, Sky is a huge boon, right? Like, uh, if you've got a team member who can play Sky, that's uh, absolutely huge. Unfortunately, Mojo goes down. Smokes come in. Now we're going to have a B-side hit, it looks. Joker finds Chris as well. Oh my gosh, Joker Spike just popping down, off beat. for Muskingum. Ooh, that's going to be a TP over to the side. Boombot coming in. Beautifully played by the uh, Rays player from Muskingum. One more Last round in the half. The switch. My out's not ready. Which means at this point, if you got the oats, you want to spend them here. Of course, Orbital Strike is just a wonderful post-plant ultimate, so... Um, that's, I think, you Time know, what uh, what our Brim player has been holding out for, Kevin. Is to see if they can get that up for that post-plant situation. Now, find the raise, gonna try and take him out, but... Seiko now with an operator is taking one out. That was a beautiful pain shell from EK. Takes out L. Uh, everybody's been pinged now. For post university. This is an unable to win that duel against EK. Pinner looking for an opportunity right here. Able to get down one. It's going to be a 1v3, but the showstopper comes out and does just that. I'm back. Post University, unfortunately, shut out. Switching sides. One round match to go point. here. We are at match point, and my word, Musking Gum is a force to be reckoned with.
Nothing too surprising here. Gonna have Cypher setting up on B site, which is uh, pretty standard, pretty Please typical. Looks like the hit's gonna come in on A, so hopefully the uh, rest of the post university Eagles can rotate quickly. Yoru in showers, looking for an opportunity here. Kevin is down, knife goes out. Yeah, that's an opportunity to try and push on this Yoru. We're able to take him out, so that's a beautiful trade here to start. Distant, not gonna go for the orb, but instead it's pushing up through. Finds the brim. Nice shot right there, but it's gonna be a couple players trading here, so now it's a 2v2. Cypher goes down, it's just gonna be this guy. Still doesn't have the spike down either, so great opportunity, Chris who is just so great on this map last week. Coming up around the sky, beautiful flash, able to take them out. Put one on the board for Post University. Love to see a little bit of momentum gained here. And uh, Mojo got a couple picks as well, so we're gonna update that tally, update that total. 11 left. This is a nice spot. And that's got to feel good. That's got to feel really good for post. That goes there. This goes here. See if they can capitalize on this momentum here. They're going to have the better guns this round. Yeah, it's going to be a B side hit this time around. Cypher backing up just Cover a little bit. Out. Smokes have come down. Here's a paint shell. Walks right into it, but still got about 80 HP. Yeah, able to find somebody in the trap wire. That's going to be good for them. Yoru coming in. Turns around, but it's going to be Seiko who gets the job done once again. Now the whole Post University squad rotating over. This isn't going to be one of the first ones there. Unable to find the shots. As Ray's ducks and dodges and then drops for the kill. Pinner coming in, looking to put out a couple smokes. But Post University going to have to move pretty quickly. It's 4v2. It's going to be down to your controllers once again. It's going to be a nice blind, a little bit of util use. Seiko looks, takes the shot. That's going to be game number one. Going the way of Muskingum, 13 to 1. What a powerhouse this squad is. Take a peek at the scorecard right here. As we can see, uh, again, the big player we're keeping track of right now is Mojo. Able to knock four kills off of that countdown total, so got our fingers crossed they're going to be able to get the uh, rest of them here tonight. If not tonight, certainly Thursday. This then uh, showing up in a pretty big way for Post University. He's been one of the more consistent players, I feel like, on the squad. So happy to see them still performing, even though the uh, the the squad, even though the the Eagles took a little bit of a tough uh, loss right here, but. We're going to another map. It's going to be Lotus. Going to throw it to a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon.
Hello and welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us during that short break. Setting into the next map, it is going to be Lotus. Uh, I believe the uh, second newest, second newest map in the game. So uh, excited to see this one um, and see what Post University is gonna bring to the table for it. So take a peek now at Agent Selection. Uh, not a whole lot of surprises. Uh, this is interesting. Muskingum is going pretty aggro here with a double duelist, um, which I don't I don't think they did in the last map. Uh, this is going to match the uh, jet. So like that. Of course, Omen very, very powerful on this map, so not entirely surprised to see that either. Does it look like we're going to... Oh, no, we do. We do. Um, Mojo trying out the gecko tonight to see if maybe that'll help bring... That kill count down to zero. See if we can see if Mojo can surpass that number three spot in kills tonight. So, another one of the uh, three site maps, uh, which is, of course, um, means it's a massive one, right? So, rotations are long here. We're likely only going to see a couple of um, spikes planted on B. Uh, typically, kind of like that mid site is the one uh, that you don't you don't typically see. Um, people right there. people plant at it's usually seaside which i'm not uh, which i'm right not there. surprised to see here mound is just a wonderful spot to hold from if you were on the attacking side and looking for just like kind of post plant security right you've just got beautiful um shot of typically where the spike is going to be planted on that seaside so not surprised at all here that this is kind of the way that post university, post university looks like they want to go Seiko, though, pushing out pretty aggro. Going to dash back in. Uh, Dissonant able to take one down, so that's going to be a huge boon for Post University. We're going to get the site push now. Seiko, though, right there, ready to go. Takes out the other jet. Mojo now backs up just a little bit. Post University considering their options here. Sounds like they're going to open the door over to B, so we might actually get a rotation. But Seiko just threw the smoke, able to find the kill. Musking Gum aware that the One rotation is remaining. coming in on the B. Chris B. tries to get something going. TP's back out. Oh, it's going to be a 3v1 and hard to win that one, but I liked what I saw from Post University. I liked the decision making process there, right? Seeing that, yeah, okay, we're going up against Seiko on C site. Let's not make this harder on ourselves than we need to rotate over to B. But Musking Gum was just aware. Um, you know, probably heard him running, aware that that was happening, met them during the rotation, was able to get the kills. So now, Post University just needs to see what they can do here on uh, kind of the save round. Mitchell's come out. Chris taking kind of an off angle, looks through that uh, one way smoke. Sides better than to try and push that. B side gonna be the way they go again. Zaley finds two almost immediately, but doesn't strikes back. Seiko coming up here with the operator. Chris might have a Spine nice shot B. here on uh yeah, finds them. They're gonna be able to get the kill on the reload. Picks up the operator, but unable to get it ready in time. So now it's just gonna be up to dissident. But this is a significant amount of damage done, regardless of how the rest of this goes. <sighs> Oh, the double take there, not quick enough. EK, just quick on the draw, takes them out. EK is actually, that's one thing I've noticed, is they have been able to, like, their, their time to kill very, very fast. Um, and that's certainly certainly something troublesome if you were the post-university eagles right now. But they're going to have a nice buy here, going to be able to get the rifles, get some shields. Yes, this should do. So, again, this is the round that post-university needs oh, to win, this is a nice spot. right? Otherwise, things can start that to snowball, kind of like we saw on this Vine last time. Suppose University going uh, going at uh, things a little bit different, looking for this A site push, which uh, again 
definitely the least, uh, the less common one. That's a nasty one way, but already Post University has a little bit of uh, momentum here, has a little bit of space. A couple of kills come Spike in. It's going to be a. trades either way. It's a 3v3. Chris gets blinded here momentarily by the Omen, who is over to their right, but I don't think realizes. Oh, no, wait. Actually, no, that's the Omen right in front of him. That's a nice little bit of util coming out from the breach. Pushes them back. That's going to give them more opportunity to get on the site, but Se Psycho... Seiko has the Operator, which is always problematic. Oh, they will get the spike down. Nice shot right there. It's going to be a 1v2 and make it a 1v1, but that's going to be their top fragger. L only has 21 HP. Just one errant, one straight bullet is going to be all it takes. So L has to play this very carefully. Turns the corner. Gets a couple shots off, but Seiko just a little bit more on the mark. That little bit of extra help was the difference maker right there, but Post University seems to have really found their footing kind of after that break, kind of regrouped a bit after that tough loss on Bind, and despite still going down three rounds, they are playing much, much better, right? That was down to the wire. That could have gone either way, so I think Post University should be feeling good about that, should be proud of themselves. We've got another pick here for Mojo, so let's knock that total down one more time, just down to 10 at this point. This in dashes out, but going to be taken down. Nice use of the utility there from Muskingum to really make it almost impossible for Post University to find any value in that push. But uh, Chris is already on site. One enemy remaining. Be taken down. Kevin looks is able to find one. Well, gets another one. Two tap and one tap, but Seiko, of course, comes up from behind, finds them in the end. And yeah, Post University's confidence looks like it's back now, and again, with a nice buy here, they can start to put some rounds on the board, start to chip away at this lead that Muskingum has. Couple of very powerful loads though on the board for Musking. I mean, in particular, the Showstopper. Uh, that one is is pretty common, pretty high value. So that's definitely going to be the one to watch out for. Kevin gets blinded, drops back almost immediately, realizing what has happened. Nice job clearing the box. This is going to be a slow push onto A, and that's kind of the name of the game here on here. Here comes the Showstopper, Ek. Looking for an opportunity. Here comes out. Doesn't get anybody, but the Spike rest of the squad eight. does. Zaley does Rare go standing. down. Just one more player. It's down to Kevin. Can they make something of this? As they peek around that corner. Flash comes out. They're just firing blindly. See if they can get a pick, but none to be found. It's another round for Muskie. I make them remember they're only human. Some ults coming up here. The big one, of course, is going to be a jet with a blade storm. So dissident, right? On a safe round, it's not Spike uncommon that you're going to see uh, a jet use their ultimate, right? Because that can really help save a round like this, right? Where you're coming into it with no guns, Get out of my way. but if your jet, yeah, immediately pulls out the blades. Cover going out. It's going to try dashing into the smoke onto point. Able to clear a little bit of space. Down, In the meantime, lead. beautiful knife coming out from Dissident. They've got the point now. Dissident playing pretty aggro. When this smoke comes down, they're going to see EK. There it is. But EK, the, 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 the EK again, so fast with their trigger. That's going to be Post University dropping once again. 6 0 for Muskingum. Don't even start that shit here, mate. Speaking of offensive ults, Chris has theirs too. 
Of course, this is a round where they're going to be able to buy up. But, oh, actually, yeah, it looks like Chris is probably going to save. So, yeah, already pulls out the ultimate. That works. And that's going to be nice because then on these save rounds, you know, if and when they come up, Chris is going to be uh, going to have some of that money, going to be able to uh, kind of not necessarily mitigate the uh, mitigate the save rounds, but at least make them a little less painful for Post University. He's just going to hold up one spot. Dissident finds one. Dissident wins the duel against Seiko. That is huge. So you can see the rest of the squad moving in relatively quickly onto point. Bittner. Got a smoke out. Dash on the point from Dissident. Monster on the loose. Spike down. Oh, huge shot there from Dissident. Just sees the top of the head. Before the light can react. This university up by one right now. They need to push in. Dissident knows somebody coming around the corner. The flash comes in. They're still able to get the kill. Absolutely massive remaining. proposed university. Is that going to be Omen left? But you can't take anyone on this Muskingum squad for granted. You cannot... You have to be careful of literally everybody on the field, but Dissident able to pull it out, gets that round for Post University, puts them on the board. Magic number for Mojo is now nine. Oh, it's got Rolling Thunder, which is absolutely massive here. I think, uh, you know, a couple, a couple of ways that you can use this. You can use this on Plus Plant. You can use it to get the point. I think, honestly, Post University needs to uh, perhaps think about using a lot of this utility, a lot of these ultimates, to just get the point. We can already see that this is uh, L kind of leaning the way he'll... Chris finds Seiko, another massive pick. This isn't going to be traded, though. Mojo finds another. So an advantage here for Post University. L firing through the smoke. Knows there's somebody back there. 2v4. This is fantastic news for post. Just wait until that omen smoke goes away. Gonna get a rotation here. It looks as though Musking Gum is aware of it as well. Concussing. I'll throw us out a little Flash bit of out. utility onto B. See if they can bait them into thinking that's where the uh, hit's gonna be. And in fact, they do. They pause for just a second. As we can see, Mojo has kind of snuck around onto A point. It's actually going all the way into CT, just looking for a pick here. They're going to find Cypher. The question is, can they find Cypher before Cypher? <laughs> Look at that. They both practically find each other. What a huge kill. TP's right in front of Mojo. Unlucky for the Muskingum uh, Omen. Mojo aware that somebody's coming in behind him. him wingman. Ooh, unfortunate bounce right there. Still able to go in. Finds the flash. Gets the kill. Big That's round again for Post University. Now we're starting to see the team come together, find their footing. Mojo picks up another kill. I believe they're down to eight. I actually might be mistaken. They might be down to seven. So apologies if I get that number wrong. We're gonna check after this map. Up and away. Dizzy has targets. Yeah, spray through the smoke's not finding anything. Another nice one way coming out from Zaylee. I'm gonna get a pick. But you're now looking for the flank. Yeah, chat, let me know if my uh, countdown from Mojo was incorrect because I think I did make a mistake there. Right there. Plus University looking for that A site push. Util goes out. A little bit of gunfire exchanged. Thinking about using this uh, door right here. They are eventually going to do it. That's going to signal those guys right on it. Throws out a little bit of Util. The smoke comes out to give them a little oh, opportunity to kind of uh, stay there. Big rolling thunder coming out. That means they're going to be able to get a lot of Util on the board. But Seiko, huge. Eventually taken out by Dissonant. That's going to be two 
players remaining for post university it's kevin and dissident they're able to standing. find anybody no zaley goes down so it's going to be all up to kevin but the spike is down as long as he can last long enough this round is going to be theirs but i have to get through several players they're surrounding him beautiful positioning coming out that round from muskingum Here. But good news! Post University gonna be able to buy back pretty much everything they had. Should be able to get a full buy uh, here. In addition, Jets got blades. That goes there. So my guess is we're probably gonna see uh, this, this go. not see that ultimate come out this round. This goes here. There's potential for Moto to get theirs. Wow, this is a nice spot. Could be big. Zaley with spike a double B. kill almost immediately. It's gonna be the spike as well, so L's gonna be the most likely person to get this or at least get to that spot quick enough. And no, most Kingdom has got to be there. Nice blind coming in. Seiko does find Kevin. Last player standing. Oof, just gonna be down to L, so. Gonna be able to get a couple kills here, though. Whole team surrounding him has a good idea where they're gonna be. That's one down. Make it a second for L. Huge picks coming in. 32 HP remaining. But again, this must game squad. They're gonna try and swing, I think, at the same time. It's gonna be a big move in. Finds the light. And walks into it. To the great beyond. Also known as Spawn. But honestly, huge hero plays coming out from Mel right there. Did some damage. It's gonna be another full buy, but that's kind of like the that's that's the last bit of buffer that Post University has right now. Need to pick up another round if they're hoping to be able to keep these rifles. When you're going up against a squad like Muskingum, you definitely need them. Okay, one way comes out. Ooh. That's scary. You don't want to don't want to uh, push your luck with Seiko right there. This is down, so it's going to be a 4v5 here. This university needs to play this pretty careful. Uh, considering picking up that ult orb. It's not going to do it. Doesn't want to give the way the position right now. That's going to be a little more more valuable than getting that orb. Throws out the blind, but instead, going to rotate over towards B. Ooh, Paint Shell comes out. Ultimate comes out from Mojo as well. Looking to see if they can capitalize on that, but instead, Seiko gets them. It's going to be Fettered who finds another one too. Now it's just going to be down to Mojo, down to our Gecko. Are you, Mosh? Zaley picks them off in the end to make it 9 to 2. Mojo Last picks up a couple kills. In the half. So we're down to at most 6, maybe less. Plus, you're obviously looking so much more confident uh, this game. Still need to get more on the board. Looking for that 9 3 curse. Can they do it? Can they make it happen? Big player this time around is going to be dissonant that we're going to be watching for. These blades need to be big. They come out immediately, as do musking gums. Dissonant playing kind of the long angles right here. Making sure to keep uh, keep balls at their back. Showstopper. Ho, 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 dives in. Super aggressively, but unfortunately right into two duelists. So that's going to be dissing and down. Spike Seiko down finds a. another one. Last player standing. It's going to be L finding a pick, but it's just going to be up to Chamber now. Can they get anything going? Huge pick on to Seiko. Able to get too far. that ultimate out of the way. The light pushing in. Oh, that's a big blind Cypher. Just has it easy now. Shooting. Unfortunately for Post, the 9-3 curse 
has been avoided. I find them. I kill them. Simple as that. Actually, now that I think about it, we had a... Uh, Mojo had four kills on the first map, seven here, so that's a total of 11, which means Mojo's total is down to four. Four kills remaining. Was able to do a little bit of math there. Uh, in amongst the casting and the streaming and the observing. All right, new round. New sides. Opportunity here for post two. Turn things around here. Nice one-way coming in. Those one ways are huge on this map, right? I feel like there's just a lot of good ones. Chris takes one shot, forced to back out. Headhunter doesn't get anything this time around. But now, Post University aware the um, push is coming in this direction. Oh, nice paint chills. EK, honestly, a phenomenal raise. Been very, very impressed by them uh, over the course of this match. In particular, honestly, the paint chills. The paint chills have been on the mark. Dizzy's up. Kevin Bittner, go down. Mocho looks for the rotation, but is caught as they're trying to do it. Spike is down. Dissident does find one. Going to be accompanied by L. That's a duo not to be trifled with. Finds the ghost, picks it up. Gets the pick onto the omen. Taps EK as well. Cloudburst is going to go down soon, but Dissident's going to have to get these kills relatively quickly. Finds... Seiko, but just a little too slow. Seiko gets the pick, but what a comeback in that round from Dissident. Two rounds. One round is the buffer that Post University has here. And it looks like they are considering the force. Let's fly. They want to try and turn it around here. Which means if they don't take this round, then they're going to be on pistols for the final one. Or for match point, rather. It's going to be an here. a site hit. Boombot is out. Fortunately, L is over here. Somebody who's great at kind of holding on to points. That's going to be a nice little bit of util. Looks to find the omen, but the shots are just going to ring a little more true. Both players down on A site, so now this take is going to be tough. Seiko finds another. Oh my gosh, a flawless round coming out from Muskingum. Match point. Post University. Needs 11 rounds to bring it back. 12, actually, because it'll be tied 12 to 12. So, we've seen crazier things happen. Can it happen here tonight? Lusking Gum has just been an absolute juggernaut of a team. Need a drop. Oh, Dissonant actually Thanks. saved. I didn't notice that. So, Dissonant going to have the operator for this round, which is big. Putting an op in a player like Dissonant. Could be absolutely huge for the squad. Steam pushing in. Inventor tries to go in. Spraying through the smoke at the moment. EK does find Chris. Dog coming through. Going to be taken out. Oh no, but the smoke keeps Dissident from finding the shot that they need. But Mojo picks up another one. Dropping their count down to three. We're going to get a rotation here. And Saley does find L. A 3v4. This is certainly not over yet. This university can definitely make something happen here. Big flank from Spike Distant. Planted. Finds Kevin Bittner. Oh, just barely misses. Goes for the reload. Here comes potentially a dash. Oh, the shotgun. Fortunately, and not able to make it happen. Goes for the reload, but not going to be. And Muskingum takes the game, takes the series. 2-0 tonight. Post University picked it up though in that second game. I really like some of the uh, some of the changes I saw. But so it goes. Can't win them all. Mojo does get their total up to eight. So now, looking at that number three on the lifetime frag list, just three kills remaining. Able to pick up eight that round. 
Oh my gosh, actually, I can't. Uh, yeah, ate that round four, or ate that game four in the first for a total of 12 out of 15. What a showing uh, from Muskingum, though. I mean, and it just huge plays. EK, absolutely devastating. Paint Shells, Seiko, actually, uh, oh no, no, not quite eclipsed uh, by Zaylee. Um, but regardless, good showing from Post University. Unfortunately, take the L tonight. But we are going to be back on Thursday to see them again. And I am certain Mojo is going to uh, take, that, take that number three spot on the uh, all-time uh, kill list for Post University. So thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Thanks for showing up to support your Post University Eagles. Once again, my name, Warren Juggle God Hammond. Hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. Be sure to follow Post University on all their social media. GG's and see you next time.